Anita Clayton is a very deserving Community Alumni Award winner. She has had an amazing career and has served the community both in rural remote areas and in metropolitan Perth over a long period of time. I guess getting through my degree at ECU, which was challenging, I was working full time. ECU were just so helpful, wacky as it was then. And it was really nice to find that when I finished, it was ECU and I was the first nursing group to graduate from ECU and I was very proud of that. <laughs> but to come out with a distinction when I'd been working full time all through it, it says a lot about how much support I got from ECU to get there because lectures were flexible, tutorial sessions were, were supported by tech staff. It's not until you look back that you understand where your inspirations came from, but initially my parents who Neither of them had education at university, but, but both achieved a lot of things in their lifetime. So following in their footsteps, I was very fortunate with who taught me. And then once I started my nursing training, the senior nursing sisters there and some of the senior trainee nurses that I worked with had a huge impact on what happened. Particularly some of the sisters who other students were afraid of. They were certain of what they wanted they knew the standards they wanted, and if you didn't live up to that, you were in trouble. But fortunately, I had the same standards, <laughs> and they made a great difference. At one point, I thought I was going to give up my training, so you just never know where things lead and how it all comes together. She has reached out to the most vulnerable in our community, new refugees or those suffering with tuberculosis and the adverse health outcomes from that, and work with them tirelessly. It's fate. A lot of my career has been fate. Things have turned up, I've spotted them, I've had a go. And I think that's what everyone should do. Nurses are often the unsung heroes in our healthcare system, and it's very rare that you have a building named after you for your contribution, and Anita has done just that in the Anita Clayton Centre, which is a wonderful acknowledgement of her outstanding career. <laughs>